Well, Trump just got a path. Um, there's some polls here <coughs> coming out of New, New Mexico that have Johnson doing um, particularly well. So the idea here here is that if Clinton comes down just a little bit more, you know, like if that ends up being Clinton 30, Trump 31, and Johnson 29, it's a stretch, okay, but it's a path. I would think it far more likely that Johnson, who was a popular governor in New Mexico at one point, let's not forget that, right? This is not not some kind of, you know, this is, this is not random. The reason that Gary Johnson is doing well in New Mexico is that he's from New Mexico and he governed in New Mexico, right? Um, I would consider the idea that Johnson would eventually eat into Clinton, I would say that's far more likely than that Trump finds a way to win Pennsylvania or Wisconsin or something, right? Um, if you were to, you know, look at the kind of the traditional math that we've been looking at for the whole election, there's, there's just there's nothing Trump can do. Because what ended up happening was that the Democrats the Democrats took Virginia and that basically fucks the Republicans forever until they can find something else, right? Even if they win everything else, they win Nevada, they win Florida, they win Ohio, they win all those states. There's just not enough states there for them to win. This is why this is kind of creepy. Um, because if Trump does get to his maximum point, his maximum point is Nevada and Iowa and Florida and Ohio and North Carolina, all those states that he could win. I mean, nobody nobody thinks it's outside of the realm of possibility from one of those states. Even if I think it's outside, and I think probably, you know, if you talk to, you know, experts, probably a lot of people think it's outside the realm of possibility from to win Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin. If, if he can split New Mexico, then he wins, right? And was this not obvious? How did we all miss this? I mean, Johnson was popular in New Mexico. And New Mexico is not... New Mexico is not the kind of place that's going to naturally embrace somebody like Hillary Clinton, right? It's a very poor state. And Clinton's not exactly, um, it, it's not her demographic to win, right? Even, see this is, if the Republicans had run anybody besides Trump, they may have been competitive in New Mexico. Because they, they're not gonna, well look, she, she, she can't, she's pulling a 35% in New Mexico, guys. Like, that's, that's pretty pathetic. The only thing that's more pathetic is that Trump is pulling at 30%. Now, thankfully, recent polling does have her ahead, not just in Nevada, which could be a flip over, right? If this does work out for, for Trump and Johnson splits the vote, if she wins Nevada, then it comes out in the wash. If she wins Florida, then she, you know, that's even better. So she's, she, she seems to be overperforming in states that she wouldn't normally have to win. And she only has to win one of those extra states, right? Just one of them. But this is the first serious path that I've seen for Donald Trump for pretty much the whole election. I guess there was a point in June where, you know, it wasn't it wasn't really clear that Clinton was way ahead in Virginia. But she's been in like I haven't seen a poll in Virginia that's even close. Right? She's winning Virginia by like ten points consistently. It's not it's not it's not even it's it's not even up for for grab. Like it's not it's not even ambiguous. It's it's not even a swing state. You know, and since that's been the case, Trump has had no, there's, there's been nothing that Trump could do. 
this is this is the one thing that I think a lot of people overlooked and that um, I think everybody should kind of take a little bit seriously at the very least everybody should pay close attention because if Trump does surge at the end and he holds that map that maximum extent map and he splits New Mexico, then he will win. Like I say, she, Clinton has a lot of opportunities, right? She only has to win one other state. It could be Nevada, it could be Florida, it could be North Carolina, or it could still be Ohio. I thought Missouri would be closer than it is. I also thought Iowa would be closer than it is. Nonetheless, this is this is the only path that I've seen for Trump since June, right? And I think it's worth pointing out because of that.